I'm really excited about the potential of machine learning and generative AI to accelerate software development, to help us do the things that we're already doing just faster and more efficiently. I was at Brain, and now, since coming to Google DeepMind, it's like all of the teams that are doing this work are now finally in one place. So it's been supercharged. I grew up in a very small town in Texas, removed from the hustle and bustle of the larger Texas cities. I think I was most bummed that we didn't have a proper library in town. So my first computer, my mom and I rescued from being thrown away because nobody could quite figure out how to get it to work. And I started tinkering to try to figure out how the computer would work, learning how to program, learning how to play the games. This is Digital Love Story. You're exploring this BBS system in the 80s. It's very cool. At the time, my computer was like water in a desert. It's how you have something that can give you a bigger idea of the world. And I was hooked. And so when I went to school, my admissions essay was about computational neuroscience. That's when I knew what I wanted to do with my life. So computational neuroscience at the time was understanding how you could do models of brain functions using programs or computational processes. That's one of the things that draws so many of us to Google DeepMind, is this yearning to figure out the way that a person thinks, the way that they process information, the way that they accomplish tasks. So much of psychology feels very fuzzy. What I really, really wanted to see was more definitive answers. I was the product lead for Palm 2, building a very powerful large language model. This was really the first time that we were able to release a model and point to dozens of places where that model was already available for people to use. And now, since coming to Google DeepMind, it's building off of that. How do we use these large language models for software development? How do we put AI and integrate machine learning into every single one of our products? And when you think about it that way, if you can save each one of those people just a few seconds, that's making the world in aggregate so much more productive. And if you're looking for impact, for ways to understand how people interact with these models, there is no better place to do it than Google DeepMind. One of the things that excites me the most is that the entire world seems to be caught in on the excitement of generative AI. And these tools are democratizing it in a way that we've never seen before. 